Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Smith and welcome back to Fun Size Adventures. Today we got Ethan and Calvin and my dad. We're gonna take our kayaks up this stream and do some exploring, so stay tuned. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. If you're new here, Fun Size Adventures is all about having little bite-sized adventures that are perfect for your little kids so you can get outside as a family. And today we're going down this creek. We're gonna do some exploring, see what kind of wildlife we can find as well as what kind of scenery we can see. And be sure to stay tuned to the end where I try to break down the parenting lessons I learned about getting your kids outside and on the water so that you don't have to make the same mistakes I do. I'm just gonna let you paddle. <laughs> We're waiting up. Hey Grandpa, when's the last time you've been here? Oh, five years anyway. Yeah, I think it's been longer for me. I don't think I've been here probably in 10 years. Oh guys, look at a bear log I see going there. Yeah, looks like there might be a dam there. Uh-oh, can we get through it? We'll find out. Mm, I don't know what it is. Wait, there's a beaver path. There's a beaver path. We know they're around here somewhere. Oh wow, that beaver bog. Yeah, we got Looks plenty like of nothing evidence of beavers around here. Calvin's always making the same face. <laughs> Make this. <laughs> Took a better corn. I don't know if that really saved us a bunch of time. One thing I would recommend if you have little kids, especially obviously if you're in a tandem kayak, is to not give them a paddle if they're not going to paddle the whole way because that could make things tough but it's also good for them to learn nathan's old enough that he's he's doing a pretty good job of paddling so glad we brought one for him calvin's a little bit younger and he didn't really want to paddle so he doesn't have one but obviously if you have a single person kayak you kind of need one or else you're in trouble hi i'm very great paddling and i'm very fast yeah so bye oh what are the yeah, I've never seen a bird like that before. It's like black, but has these reddish oranges circles on its, like the tops of its wings here. It's pretty cool, but there's been a ton of them around here. What was that? Oh. <laughs> I think that was just me, but it scared me. My paddle got caught on something and slapped like a beaver. Oh, and now seaweed's attacking me. Not seaweed, but some of these reeds. Now I'm a little bit spooked and I'm gonna get scared by every little thing. Oh, there it goes. A duck right there. Go close to the reeds on that side. There, there's, there's a duck in there I want to try to scare out. Oh, he's running. He's running. Oh, he didn't fly. He just ran into the reeds. <laughs> if he does, we better get out of here before he comes after us. Yeah, yeah the, the water's so high. But because I think there was a dam here one of the times yeah. that I yeah. came. Yeah. But like I said, that was so long ago. We've made it to Hot Hole Pond. And over there, looks like there might be a beaver lodge somewhere over there. 
And then over there is the stream we were at a few videos ago. Where are we gonna go, Ethan? Check it out. Alright, let's go check it out. Yeah, I know why you do little tackles. They don't kill you. They don't bite you. Okay, Dad, okay, let's climb up on top. No. Oh yeah, do you want to do that? Grandpa said try to find the entrance underwater. No. No? I don't you just it. said they won't attack you though. What are you worried about? I'm scared to go under this water. Calvin's gonna dive under. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can take the camera. Yeah. No? Well, that's Grandpa. the whole reason we brought you here. We needed yeah. somebody small. Yeah. We wanted to get a <laughs> big picture of a smiling beaver. Yeah. I don't know. I'm a little bit afraid that one's gonna come out of here charging. Then we will just fight it. That's a lot of trees. But look at all the mud he got on there too. Like they packed that in hard. What do they do? Put it on their tail? I don't know. Or they just kids just keep coming in and out with their dirty shoes on and fill it up with mud. <laughs> you want to feel it? Yeah. I think it just feels like sticks. Whoa! Let's get away from there before they attack. Where? Dead fish. Where? Right oh. there. Whoa. Better him than us! Ah. Okay, be careful there, a little bit slippery. Whoa! Ow, that hurt my toe. I'm gonna get up on here. All right, it's safe. It's fun here. Put your bathing suit. I guess the people. Oh, found that. Guys, look what I just found. And that little section of woods there is really cool. Looks really old and just kind of kind of magical in a weird way. And that was fun to explore. As far as what did I learn during this adventure today, is to always bring snacks. It's much easier to get your little kids motivated to go that extra little bit when you have a snack to bribe them with. <laughs> no, we're gonna try to just miss you. Oh, we didn't just miss you. Sorry. <laughs> you made it here to the end of the video thank you i appreciate it so much that you watched today and if you want to see more videos like this one click over here to subscribe and if you want to see us come to the same spot but by bike click on this video over here see you next time